Hello crocheters, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. In this project we are working on a hat that I call the Icy Cool Crochet Fur Trimmed Hat. And this actually matches and accompanies the Icy Cool Crochet Fur Trimmed Vest. I will leave a link below in the description area. Um, I will also leave the actual link to the video at the end of this video. But to get to the description area, which also will contain uh, more information regarding the materials, it will have my social media links, uh, the link to the blog, Crazy Cool Crochet, where I will have the written pattern, and also the link to my Etsy shop, where I've got the printable patterns for sale. So, what we are using for this project is loops and threads charisma sorbet in aqua it's a number five bulky and for the fur yarn b fur the love in mint and that's a super bulky we're also using a k hook or 6.5 millimeter and scissors so let's go ahead and get started and we're going to start with a chain of four Now we're going to join with the first chain to form a ring and we're going to slip stitch to join. Just pull the yarn through the chain that you just entered and then right through the chain on the hook and then we're going to chain two. Now if you're a beginner and you need help with the beginning stitches, I'll leave a little white box up above. I always do that, usually, and that will take you to the beginner tutorials. Now if you're a beginner and you already worked the matching vest, the vest was fairly simple. Now you might find this hat a little bit more complicated only because Pretty much each row is going to have slightly different directions. Whereas with the vest, it was pretty straightforward. But go ahead and give it a try. Okay, now we're going to be working into the ring. And we are going to work as we did for the vest. Single crochets and chain one. Okay, so single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, chain one. I like to keep the tail right along the edge here and it incorporated into the stitches. And you will continue with the single crochet chain one until you have five single crochets. Just one, two, three, four. And one more. We're not counting that starting chain. And there's five. And chain one. And actually chain two. So one more. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch in the beginning chain. Now chain two. Okay, now in the next space, so not that first one where the chain is, but the next space, do a single crochet, chain one. In the next space, do single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. So you've got two single crochets and a chain one in that one space. In the next space, repeat that. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and repeat around into each space. So you've got two single crochets and a chain in each space. And you will have 11 single crochets in total. And then join with a slip stitch into that beginning chain. And chain two. 
Okay, now for row three, we're going to start with a single crochet into the first space where the chain is and chain one. And in the next space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And we're going to repeat this around just like we did for row two. And we're going to enter the last two single crochets in that last space. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And we will have 23 single crochets. Now slip stitch into that first, into that starting chain to join, and chain two. Now we're going to do a single crochet into each space. So one single crochet in that first space, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, and keep going around one single crochet, chain one into each space. And we will have had 23 single crochets. So now we'll slip stitch into that starting chain. Now for row five, we're going to repeat row four. So do your chain two and then enter a single crochet in each space with a chain in between each single crochet. And this time we ended up with 24 single crochets. Slip stitch to join. Chain two. Okay, now for row six, we're going to start a decrease row. And if you're a beginner, don't worry, this is pretty easy. Okay, so insert the hook into the first space. Pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next space. Pull up a loop. Now pull the yarn through all three loops. So you've decreased a single crochet. So rather than have two single crochets, you only have one. Because you combine two. Chain one. Now in the next space, single crochet. Chain one. In the next space, single crochet chain one. In the next two spaces, do another decrease. So the single crochet decrease over the next two spaces. Pull up a loop from the next space. Then in the next space, pull up another loop. Pull through all three and chain one. So here we did our decrease in the first two spaces. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, Chain one, we're always chaining one in between. And then another decrease. Chain one. Now single crochet in the next space. Chain one. Single crochet in the next space. Chain one. And then decrease over the next two spaces. Pull up a loop. Pull up a loop in the next space. Pull through all three. Chain one. So keep repeating this around. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then a single crochet decrease over the next two spaces. Chain one. Now at the end, we did single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and we've got one more space, so we're going to enter one more single crochet and chain one. And now we're going to slip stitch into the beginning chain to join. Now we will have 19 single crochets at the end of that row. So of course we're counting like this. That single crochet decrease counts as one single crochet. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and you'll end up with 19. Now chain 2. Now for row 7 we're going to enter a single crochet in each space with a chain in between. And you'll end up with 19 single crochets again. So we're going to start into this first space, not under the chain, but under in the next space. Chain 1. Now the next space will be next to that decrease. Chain 1. Right now to keep the count, we're going to skip that last space. And then join with a slip stitch in the beginning chain. Chain 2. Now row 8, we're going to single crochet into the very first space. And chain 1. Then in the next space, we're going to enter single crochet, chain 1, single crochet in the same space, and chain 1. And then in the next space, chain 1, or single crochet, chain 1. In the next space, single crochet, chain 1. So now we're going to repeat that around. So we're going to do in the next space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And then one single crochet, chain one, in the next space. And again in the next space, one single crochet, chain one. In the next space, two single crochets, chain one. Of course you've got your chain one in between the two single crochets. Okay, so what you're doing is one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet, chain one, then two single crochet with a chain in between in the one space. And we'll end up with 27 single crochets. And again, we're skipping that last space. Sometimes we need to take liberties to keep the count. And we will do two chains. And now we're going to do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, into each space for a count of 27. So now we're going to start over here. Okay, and again at the end of that row we would have had 27. Chain, join with a slip stitch. And now repeat that again. So chain two and then a single crochet, chain one, single crochet all the way around. And again we would have had 27 single crochets and then we joined with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do a decrease row again. This time we're going to chain one. So we'll start your single crochet in the next space, two loops on the hook, start the single crochet in the next space, three loops on the hook. Pull through all three, chain one. Now single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one. And then decrease over the next two spaces. And then a single crochet in the next space, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one. Repeat all the way around. Okay, so again we're doing the decrease over two spaces, chain one, and then single crochet in one space, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, and then the decrease. And now for that row, row 11, we would have ended with the single crochet in the last space for 21 total single crochets. And then Slip stitch to join and chain one. Now we're going to repeat the row for one single crochet, 
chain one, one single crochet in each space. At the end of row 12, join with a slip stitch, chain one. You would have had 21 single crochets. Now we're going to repeat that again. A single crochet, chain one, single crochet in each space. And at the end of row 13, we're going to end with a single crochet into this last space, which will actually give us 22 single crochets. Chain one, join with a slip stitch. We're going to chain two this time. And then we're going to enter a single crochet into the first space. Chain one. Now in the next space, we're going to do the two single crochets in the one space. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same space. Now we're going to do the one single crochet in the next space, chain one. One single crochet in the next space, chain one. And then the two single crochets with a chain one in between in the next space. Two went into that one space. Chain one, and single crochet, chain one. And single crochet in the next space, chain one. And then single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same space. And repeat. We're going to end that row with the single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And then skip that very last space there. And then slip stitch to join. Now for row 15, we're going to start with a chain one and then a single crochet in each space with the chain in between. Okay, you can end that last row, row 15, with the 29 single crochets and then join with a slip stitch. If you feel this is too tight on you, then go ahead and enter one more single crochet into that next space for 30. And then we can cut off the yarn. And then we'll do the fur trim. Okay, so if the finished hat so far is looking a little bit wonky, don't worry about it. We're about to beautify it with the fur trim. Actually, it doesn't even matter where you enter your hook. But I like to work with the right side facing me. Just enter the hook. Leave a tail. Bring the fur yarn through. Do a chain one to lock it in. We're going to do single crochets around the bottom of the hat. Now here again is where you're going to take some liberties as to where to place the hook. You want to do this so that it's comfortably fitting around. You don't want it to, to be too tight and you don't want to enter it in every single space so that it's too bunched up. Okay, so follow your intuition. Okay, so just single crochets, no spaces or no chains in between. So it's not too full because we're going to be doing two rows. So this is going to be very, very furry. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm actually standing behind the camera, reaching around the tripod and the camera, which is why I keep going off camera with the work. I am so sorry. Okay, because this is killing my back, standing behind the camera and working around the tripod, I am going to go ahead and finish this row. And then I'll come back. Okay, at the end of that first row of the fur trim, I'm going to enter my last single crochet into the last space, which by the way, I did enter into pretty much every space. So again, whatever feels right for you. Okay, now I'm 
going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Slip stitch into that first single crochet. Then chain one and turn. Now we're going to single crochet into each single crochet around. Okay, you'll be able to feel the spaces with your fingers fairly easily. You can't see much, but you can feel it. Okay, so a single crochet into each space. Okay, when you get to the end of that second row, slip stitch into the starting single crochet of that row. Then chain one, cut the yarn off, leave a good sized tail, pull through, squeeze it down, and now try to hide the yarn. This one is not going to be easy at all. Here we go. Nothing about working with fur yarn is easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's so worth it, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to tie. There's a starting tail. I like to use knots. In case you haven't heard me say that enough. Okay, I triple tied it. Now cut off those ends. And there we go. Now we've got ourselves an adorable hat that matches the vest. Don't forget to look for that vest. The extra wide fur trim is what makes this special. And we've got the extra wide fur trim on the front of the vest too. So check that out. Thank you so much. I hope you like this. Please subscribe. If you haven't heard, Crazy Cool Crochet is my only source of income. So every subscription helps me so much. Head over to crazycoolcrochet.com, the blog, and I will have the written pattern over there.